everyone. Welcome back to Mad About Cards and Crafts. Today I'm sharing a Not Too Shabby Shop June Box of the Month card. I am featuring the Be Mermazing stamp set. I'm going to jump right into my project. I have Distress Ink that I'm putting on my glass mat in Evergreen Bow, Mermaid Lagoon, Salty Ocean, and Salvage Patina. I'll spritz it with water. I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch glossy card panel, and I am simply swiping. I'm laying that panel down into the ink. I do a little bit of tapping, a little bit of swiping so that I get that ink on that panel and add some texture. I wanted some more of the Mermaid Lagoon, so I'll do the same thing again. And finally, I'm going to come in with some Distress Oxide. If you've ever been to the Pacific Ocean, you know that the water's a little bit murkier than, say, the Mediterranean, and so I wanted to add Distress Oxide in Salvage Patina, and then I'll bring in some Bundled Sage and do a little bit more swiping just to tone down those colors and give that little bit of murkiness that I believe the bottom of the ocean would have because that is where our mermaid and fish are going to be. I have a Tim Holtz stencil, it's called Flourish, and the Mermaid Lagoon ink. I'm adding a little bit of stenciling here and there on my card panel to add a little bit more interest to that background. I will come in and add a little bit more because I feel that upper right hand corner needed a little bit more of that stenciling. I'm gonna dry right here, and then I'm gonna go all around the edges with the bundled sage to soften it up. I will spritz it with a little bit of water so so that the ink moves and it's not quite so concentrated as it looks right here. And I love the way that it not only softened up the bundled sage, but it also softened up the stenciling that I did. Once I get that dry and I clean up some of that little um, overwatering that I have with a paper towel. I'm going to bring in that picket fence distress paint over to the right. I'll pour a little bit on my mat, spritz it with a little bit of water, bring in my paintbrush, and I am going to add splatters because you know I love my splatters. I love um, to add a lot of sparkle and shine to my ocean scenes. They make me very, very happy. I can't help myself. I think it may be a compulsive thing. I don't know. But whenever it comes to mermaids and fish and underwater, I need a lot of sparkle and shine. So this white is not going to be enough for me. No, no, no. I'm going to come back in with that Tombow Starry uh, paint, that watercolor paint. And I'm going to use one of the lighter golds and do a little bit of tap, tap, tapping and get some of that splattering over the background. I'm gonna dry that off. Here's where I'm adding just that little bit more of that Flourish stencil, and then I'm going to seal it with Distress Glaze. Once I get a coat of this on using my Distress Tool, I'll buff it out a little bit, and now we're gonna work on our ocean floor. This is not glittery enough for me. No, it's not. I need to come in with some Gina K Designs Glitz Glimmer Gel or Glitter Gel, and I'm gonna add that with my palette knife and we are going to create a place for our mermaid. This is going to be my ocean floor. I'm going to lay this down. I do set it aside to dry. It took, I'm in the desert, so it's pretty hot here, pretty dry. So it only took about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes for that to really set, set up. And now my panel's warped. So I'm going to add some double-sided tape. You can see that I do have a Nina 110 pound card base that's top folding. It is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And once I remove the backing to this, I'm going to place it on my card base. And we're gonna start building our card. To the right, you can see that I did Copic color my images. And I am going to do a little bit of heat embossing I'm going to use the sentiment that says mermaid kisses and starfish wishes. I have placed my panel in the misty. I did put my 
uh, seen where I wanted everything to be so I knew where I wanted my sentiment. I inked it up with some Versamark ink and now I'm going to bring in some gold embossing powder. I will heat it with my heat tool just to melt that and then we're going to place our fish back on and we are going to stamp some bubbles. So these bubbles come in the Beamer Amazing stamp set and I wanted to use them. I'm gonna do the same process. I'm going to add that uh, Versamark ink and gold embossing powder and then I'll heat it. Then I'm going to add some dimension. Of course, you know that my cards are never complete or rarely complete without any dimension. I did have some left over like outside, so the dots that you get, there, there's that whole outside that's foam dimension. That's what I used behind all these fishes. I did spare you having to watch me put it all down because it did take a little bit of time because I had to cut around it and make it fit, but I really hate to waste any of that foam dimension, so that's what I went with. I'm going to place both of my fish down, and then once I get my fish down, I will put down my coral and the two starfish and the shells. Now, one of the starfish does have the dimension on the back, but the coral and this shell is not. I'm going to use my wet glue and I have to set something on top because I do have that glitter gel. It is not going to hold very well if I don't put something on top of it. I did add some dimension to my mermaid as well as the starfish. Now we're adding a little bit of detail with the white gel pen. I do like to add some highlights to my scenes with this. So I've added it to the bottom of the mermaid, the bottom of the blue fish, and then to both of the starfish. And of course, the star, as always, I'm adding my Stardust Stickles. I absolutely love the stickles. You will notice that there's white between the mermaid head and tail. Once I finished this card, I realized that I needed to color that in. Actually, I took a picture, looked at it, and realized I needed to color it in. So I do go off camera with the blue-green Copic marker and fill in that white space, which is what you're gonna see in my final video. I am also going to add my Nouveau Morning Dew Drops, and this is pretty much going to be my card for today. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Like the video if you found that the information was helpful to you and give it a thumbs up. Here's a look at all that shimmer and shine. I'll show you a close up. Until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.